Three biggest mistakes with inheritance Swiss bank account after death. At least 30% of the total offshore wealth is managed in Switzerland. If you inherited offshore money, the probability that your money is in Switzerland is 30%. I show you step by step how to access the Swiss bank account of your deceased parent. I show you how to avoid three typical mistakes of non-resident clients with Swiss banks. I show you exactly which documents you need for accessing the Swiss bank account and transfer the money in favor of your private account. Stay tuned. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi, I'm Enzo Caputo, the Swiss private banking lawyer for international clients, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners, and the founder of SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and pay less tax. After thousands of phone calls with clients from all over the world, I realized that there are so many misconceptions about Swiss banks. Contrary to popular opinion, Swiss banks are not running after the heirs and distribute the money to their heirs. The Swiss bank is not a judge. Immediately after they know that the account holder passed away, the account will be frozen. The heirs of Swiss bank accounts are convinced that the bank will take the lead with the distribution of funds. That's simply not the case. That's not true. A Swiss bank has no interest to act as your executor sharing and distributing the assets of the heirs. Swiss bankers have no interest sending money away. Swiss bankers want to keep the funds in the bank. They want to keep the heirs with the bank account as their new clients. They want to make money with the funds inherited. The nightmare of a Swiss banker is that after the account holder has passed away, the money goes away too. If you want that the Swiss bank will be your friend, you have to avoid the following mistake. The mistake number one is to tell the bank that you need the money urgently. For example, to buy your house of your dreams. Don't do that. The bank will not cooperate with you. They will keep the money frozen. As long as not all heirs have been duly identified by the bank, they will not give you the access to the funds. It's much better if you make the bank believe that the money remains with the bank for the next decade. It's very important to tell the bank that you don't need the money at home and the money can remain in Switzerland. You will see that the bank will be much more cooperative with you. The mistake number two is that many heirs are not aware that a single heir or only one heir, not the totality of heirs, just one heir, has the right to become access to all bank account information, including the history of the account with all transactions, with all transaction history. It happens frequently that banks are refusing to disclose information to a single heir. This is illegal, but some banks do that. Here is the truth on the legal situation. Each heir is entitled to receive all bank account information. Based on my long experience collected with offshore inheritance money, I strongly advise you to invest some time and check the history of transactions. The mistake number three is to not check the history of the bank account. Often the history of transaction reveals the trace to the existence of additional offshore accounts. We are very familiar with checking the history of old offshore accounts. We will analyze the history of the account together with you. Sometimes we discover unexpected transactions to unexpected beneficiaries. Don't miss this opportunity to analyze the bank account documentation and the bank account history. You have to ask for it. You have the right of inspection, but you have to ask for it. You have the right to see all sorts of documents for accessing the bank account all the heirs need to be identified by the bank based on their passport and their physical presence. The bank will allow the transfer subject to a commonly signed transfer instruction. The transaction has to be signed by all heirs, by the community of heirs. Commonly means the transfer instruction must be signed by all heirs. 
If one heir does not sign, the account remains frozen. It's very important that all heirs are in agreement. The bank does not take risks with the distribution of money. The bank is not in a hurry to transfer the funds. The bank is cooperative as long the heirs are in agreement. So be in agreement. If there is a disagreement, eliminate the disagreement. And now comes the mistake number three. If just one heir is not cooperating with the other heirs, the bank has no interest to help. The account remains frozen until all the heirs are in agreement again. Therefore, all heirs must be in agreement during the negotiations with the bank. To take the ownership, you need the certificate of death, as known, also known as the certificate of disease, the certificate of inheritance or the probate documentation, with the last will or testament, if any. The certificate of inheritance shows the personal details of all heirs. It's one, if one is missing, if one is not cooperating with the other heirs, the bank will not transfer the money. Just one opponent is enough to leave the money frozen. The exact name of the inheritance document depends on the jurisdiction of the deceased amount, account holder. The competent jurisdiction for the inheritance is the jurisdiction at the last residence of the account holder who passed away. The inheritance documents must be translated into English, German, French or Italian. They must be legalized by a notary public and super legalized with apostille. If the documents are all okay, the funds are ready to be transferred to your own bank account. I help you to open the best bank account with the best Swiss bank. In case you have problems on sending the correct documents, we will help you. If somebody can't travel to Switzerland, we will negotiate a solution with the bank. If you have problems obtaining the visa for Switzerland, we will issue an invitation letter and organize the visa for you. We will negotiate for you with the competent Swiss immigration authority. We will deal with that. If you like this video, show it to us and give us a like, pushing the like button now. Do it, it will cost you nothing. We had a case of inheritance involving a very old lady. She was living in Baghdad, Iraq. It was impossible for her to travel to Switzerland. She was too old. We agreed with the Swiss bank to delegate the identification procedure to a general of the US Army based in Iraq. The general made a very good job acting as notary public. He identified the lady to the bank for the bank. You see, there is always a solution. Sometimes you need to come up with creative and inventive solutions. If the account inherited has been opened many years ago, there is a risk that the funds are not tax compliant, which means black money. The old generation of clients had a mentality of secrecy. They didn't trust their own government. They grew up during World War II. They made the money after World War II. Old clients, particularly those who are not supported by professional advisors, are not aware of the consequences of the automatic exchange of information and the common reporting standard. They still believe in Swiss banking secrecy. As we know, Swiss banking secrecy still exists today for protection of privacy, but not anymore for protecting tax evasion. If you inherited a bank account in the name of an offshore company, for example, a British Virgin Island company, you can be pretty sure inheriting black money. To get out of the black money trap, all heirs must be united and act in a coordinated manner. All heirs should legalize the funds with the tax agency at home. The accounts, we can help with that. The accounts of non-resident clients are not taxed in Switzerland. Many accounts with so-called black money, I call it tax neutral money. If this money has been discovered by the tax agencies because the ears did not cooperate, this means problems. If one ear declares and the other does not, the tax agency will become wind. Depending on the competent jurisdiction, there are different ways to legalize the assets. During the last seven years, we have legalized few hundreds of bank accounts with the voluntary disclosure procedure. We did it for Canada, for Brazil, for Italy, for Germany. We help you to legalize your money. Give us a call before it will be too late. The penalties of certain jurisdictions are very high. We have seen cases where the assets on the account were not sufficient to pay the penalties because the penalties were very high. Information just like this cannot be found in universities, not in libraries and not in the internet. If you like information like this, make sure to subscribe 
to my YouTube channel and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you have a specific question in connection with the Swiss bank account, call us immediately. We will discuss your issue free of charge. You can also send an email, write your specific question and will respond within 24 hours. If you have a very confidential question you would like to discuss with me only, write me an email or book a free telephone consultation with me now. Grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to solve a problem, but often too late. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.